All right, so welcome back to episode two of a series on how to make games. But um, for this video, I actually it was supposed to be a basic basic review, so a review on basic. I actually don't think I'm gonna do that. Rather, what I'm gonna do, if you have questions on anything, you can always go back to TI Connect, TI Basic Developer and just read. Okay, trust me, there is an answer for something, and if not, you can always go to oh, this one you can always go to the discord over here on the ce programming.github.io tool chain and they'll be happy to answer all your questions because that's like asking what's four plus two to them yeah i know i've been there trust me um i really don't think we're gonna need it if you do have further questions you can always leave a comment or join my discord server link in the description um i'll try and be very active um yeah pretty much so the video after that was supposed to be a guide on lists. So um, lists, uh, matrix, matrix, matrices, and um, where is it? Uh, strings. So I think we're just gonna go over that, I guess. Um, because what did I tell you? Um, I told you to read this. I told you not, I only did not do four, five, six, or four, five, six, seven, and eight. And yeah. And then you don't really need to do math functions. I'm pretty sure you can do math. But if you have a, like, if you're wondering like how to do something, you can always look beyond this too. Um, we'll try, I'll try and cover this later. And so I guess let's get started. So in our new program, uh, what's AA? Oh, it's the math solver. Okay. By the way, for those of you who don't know, if you press second and plus, you can actually go to memory and then you can manage mev memory. You press seven, go to the program list. You can actually delete programs that way instead of going to like the files over here and plug it in. So, um, let's get started. Boom, new program, just like that. So let's call uh, I don't know, AA because, all right. So before we get started, this math is all gonna happen before uh, the clear home or this, all these code is gonna happen. So we actually really don't need to do anything. All we needed was just to create the program, that's it. So let's get started. Let's start with explaining. So you can store pretty much, so let's start off with um, lists. So lists is what we're gonna be using for our coding. Lists, um, as you know, if you press the stack key and click edit, you can actually store like numbers into lists, like eight and three. And then if we get that list and click enter, it should give us that, right? Perfect. So, um, but the thing that people don't know, it's actually, you can make your own lists. It's not only list one through six, you can actually make your own. If you go to the OPS, this little thing right here, this little, little L, that's how you can make your own list. And you can type that in with any real, I guess, letter. And so you can make millions and millions of lists. I wouldn't recommend it. You should, you can, because you can store up to 99 values or dimensions in lists. So that's great. Um, so to start off, let's go to list and let's go store some dimensions in the list. So in the edit screen, each uh, one of those is its own different dimension, each little list here. So the eight's one dimension, the three is another dimension, all the way down to max of 99 or 999. So if we go to, let's say we want a five, so can five store into the dimension. So let's go to list, OPS, dim, short for dimension, and then we put our list. So you can press second and list and go down to the little L and let's type our little name. So for this, for tutorial purposes, I'm just gonna call this tutorial. But, um, oh, come on. Okay, so to five, store, list, dim, Let's just keep this short and simple, I guess. Let's call this one list A. So if you press enter, 
she saved that five. And it will also create a list under the list key. As you can see, it's right there. A. So if we run this, it should say zero, 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 five times. Just zero, five times. Boom, one, two, three, four, five. So how do we store um, stuff into each dimension, I guess, right? So what you can do is let's create a little bracket and the curly bracket is if you press second and parenthesis and then let's do one comma two comma three comma four comma five and then let's close that off and then store that into list a so then if we try list a again it should say one two three four five boom just like that and so this is actually very nice as you can save like tons of things like one could be like how many like points they have two could be their high score three could be what level they're on four could be like a friend's high score five could be something and like it you really have you really don't need too much um it can get a lot done so um how do you say like if we wanted to take a high score right like let's say l a is the high score right two is the high score so what we go is we go list Take our list, put a parenthesis right here, and then which one do we want? Let's say, I don't know, fours are, let's say like fives are high score, right? So we want the fifth row of the matrix, uh, the list. So one, two, three, four, five, five is in the fifth row. And store that, we can just store that into a letter like S for score. So then if we take the value of S, boom, just like that, S equals five. So this is actually really very useful for like, this is how you like initialize your high scores. So let's get started in the program. I think we know enough, right? So the first thing that you're actually gonna do is actually, um, let's talk about program protection. Cause think of it, anyone can just go to list, take this and store whatever they want into that list, right? But there are many ways that you can keep that safe. And one of the most common ones is archiving it. So archive will prevent it from RAM crashes as there are two types. If we go to memory here, there's the archive and unarchive right here. So if the RAM crashes, the archive stuff will still stay on. So if you have a game that's archived, you can run that through cesium. So that's why um, it's good to keep like your high score games archived because then they won't ever like reset like Pokemon Red. You don't want to restart that. So, um, but how do we, but let's say we um, have to create the, we have to create the list first in the program, right? So if we do the list thing, if we like do the, uh, create the list like five store uh, into dimension, right? We do that, right? But if it's archived, it'll give us an error screen and there's no way we can bypass that without this command. And that command is setup editor. So the setup editor, the most, the probably the best part about it is if it is our, if the list is archived, it will unarchive it. And if that list is not created, it'll create it with the dimension of zero, right? So let's set up the, so that's like, now we can like archive it for safety. If it doesn't exist the first time running the program, boom, just like that. So let's set up editor LA, right? unarchive it or create it if it's the first time. And now we can do five store dimension LA. Boom, so just like that. So with these two lines, we've initialized um, the pretty much the display, right? So um, if we were to like do like, so now like let's say two is our high score, right? So we can do um, what we did earlier and do, so take the second one and store that into, I don't know, let's do theta. That's what I like to do, my scores. Let's skip a line. I like to just skip lines sometimes because it really has no purpose. It won't harm your program and it like helps split up your program, making it easier for you to read. So um, let's see. Now let's initialize the high score. So let's do like some program commands. Like let's display, like let's make a game right here. So G A M E. 
enter and then let's do another display command. This time we'll display, um, this time we'll do um, SC O R E second math for equal sign equals. Let's do a space mat comma theta. So that'll display theta inside of that. And we score that into theta. So then we can do um well, actually no, let's okay, let's I forgot to clear your home. That's my bad. But there's actually an edit menu. Good time to bring this up. If you press alpha and F5, you have a whole list of stuff. So you can execute the program right there. Undo clear if you accidentally hit the clear or enter a line above. So just add a space and all this other stuff too. So you can copy and paste lines. Make sure it's like copy line and paste it below, right? Or completely remove that line too. So very useful. Add a space above, clear home. So then let's do uh, a prompt. Um, let's do a prompt. So prompt, let's do, um, let's do like, um, I don't know, what's a letter R? I'll just say like, yeah, R, okay. And then, so if, I don't know, like R equals six, then, I don't know, um, well, let's just pause it really. Pause, all right, so let's run the program. So that's our score, it's two, right? So it was six, right? And now it's paused and we can enter. But if it's not, it probably locks. Actually, let's try that. If it's not, then I'll just close the program. So it's kind of like, I don't know, this could be a game guesser. I don't know what Y score would be there. That's pretty much, yeah. So um, that's what lists are. Lists are very powerful, um, mainly just because of the setup editor and you can create infinite amount of them. So next, let's move on to matrices. And one more thing I forgot to mention, um, at the end, um, always at the end of your program, um, or like in there, like exit button, or exit program, we could do, um, let's insert a line above here. Always, always make sure to go memory and archive that list. So no one really has access to it without unarchiving it. And we will later in the video get into um, how to secure and safely write your programs uh, or like keep stuff safe. Like um, again, no one, you can't really 100% keep your program safe because anyone could just look up your source code and boom. So yeah, with that, um, back to matrices. So matrices, they're like strings pretty much, except strings are one dimensional, right? Like you have, um, you have the one, two, three, four, five, that's one dimensional. But matrix matrices can be accessed with the second and x uh, the power of minus one. Um, yeah, and so the good thing is you don't have to worry about setup editor. Um, well, there actually is no setup editor, but um, unless otherwise removed, these matrices here, they will always be here. A through J will always be here. So just to make this a visual, if you go to alpha F4, or no, alpha F3, um, let's create a matrix with uh, the row of two and the column of two. So it's pretty much like a two dimensional, right? Not one dimensional like strings. So let's do like, I don't know, three. And this is actually a type of math, by the way. So you can actually like add and subtract matrices. And so if we do this plus, I don't know, this with, I don't know, three, two, five, Nine. So how matrices work, if you add them, three and three will be added, two and two will be added, pretty much the same spots, right? If we click enter, that's the sum of three and six, that's six, or two and two is four, five and five is 10, and nine and nine is 18, right? So um, now what you can do is you can store a matrix, matrix or store a list, right, into a, mat into a matrix variable. That's a matrix, but the matrix variable are all these names right here. And also the math is pretty similar to the uh, the list uh, math right here. 
so pretty much what this does right here this is how you actually like start it out like this is how like you'd start a list like you know like make the curly bracket and like five store dim into that list this is how you do it with matrix so if we want to store two comma three into the matrix a press enter and then if we go to the matrix and click names and click enter that's how it look like right two columns and three rows that's how it look like so to actually store stuff into matrixes um we need um to take the number so like if we wanted to store five into like two comma three so five store into matrix that's math matrix a and then we just need to just put parentheses to identify it so i don't know two comma three and one cool thing about ti basic is you actually don't have to finish off your parentheses if you haven't noticed already um if you're doing like stuff but after if, this really only applies at the end it's like you don't have to put something here but like if it's in front of something that continues then it'll be like the dim is the dimension is inside of that bracket so you're not really storing it into anything you're just going to get a syntax error but if it's at the end you don't need to store it so five will be stored into the matrix a in that column enter so if we go back boom there's five so matrices are actually really good for making maps and we'll get to that later but not this video we'll probably get to that later in the series when we go over like techniques probably in the tbd so yeah two-dimensional storage can be used and i told you it'll be useful for maps so now it's time for strings so the one major disadvantage for strings is there are only 10 strings in all of ti basic so that means if you're using a string to sort like your high score or something very important you are doomed because any program a lot of programs will have more than one string and pretty much what they're used for is pretty much just uses extra storage let's go over let's go over some syntax so i say i use strings for like if you're like going to type out something that you're going to need a lot like you're going to write a lot um then you just really use a string so like if i wanted to write out like um, I don't know, like, if I was to write out, like, a long word, like, um, I don't know, just hi, whatever. This isn't going to make sense. We can do hi. We can store that into string one. So the thing about strings is that you can actually store text into them, whereas with numbers, you cannot store text. Otherwise, it'll just, like, mush it together. Um... So if we want to do hi, um, so like if we want to do like, I don't know, like if, here, let me go into tokens. Yeah, so if I wanted to do like if, um, like, or first let's, let's just store this into thing, into like something. So like, let's do like, um, you, I have an idea. Let's do you, um, store that into string zero. Wait, is that how you spell strings? S T R one. Okay, yeah, I got that right. So pretty much what I'm trying to do here is like, um, I'll make this like um, you like win or you lose. So instead of having to type like you win or you lose, I'm storing it into a string and you can add those together. It's like I'll do like if I don't know like S is ten, um, then um, dis Display string zero plus um what was it Hi, I'm doing the syntax wrong it's my bad um pretty much do like uh string zero zero plus um win so like you win I can't type okay yeah so like if you if like your score is 10 and that's the winning score it'll do you like it'll do string zero plus win so display you and win so let me do let's type let me type that into the emulator and let me show you so yeah now if we I stored you into string one so now if we do string one plus um quotation mark, i'm not gonna um uh i don't know win 
they'll say you win. So you can do that, especially if you're gonna if you don't want to type out something a lot or you're coding on your calculator, you don't want to type a lot. That's when you'd use strings or if you want to like show like two rows of things. So I'd say that's pretty much it. Again, this is pretty much a brief overview. I definitely 100% go back to TI uh, Basic Developer, the uh, link. I'll leave that in the description again. And definitely read 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 all over again just to get like more in-depth because there's stuff that you probably think like, oh, I'm never going to use this. But you will use this, trust me. So um, I'd say definitely, definitely know how to use um, lists. We went over that a lot. Just know how to make um, make them, how to store them, how to archive and set them all up. It's pretty much spelt out in the basic in the wiki dot. Um, so yeah, I'd write that for homework. Um, I don't know what to do. I guess um, I guess just start thinking of a game. I mean, well, it's, you probably thought of that if you found this. Um, I don't know. Just try and like you've learned some TI Basic, so I try and make a little mini game. I guess um, just a simple game um, with a functional high score and different levels. So you'll have to use lists. And I'm pretty sure you can do that with um, three, uh, two, three, and four. And then we'll go next episode, we'll go into advanced graphics a lot more in depth for the, those of you who don't understand. Again, if you have questions about TI Basic, like what commands do, leave them in the comments or join the Discord server right here or join my Discord server. I'll be active quite a bit. Um, I always am. And I guess we'll just see you next video. Bye.